hi everyone it's so good and exciting to be here again and thank you so much for being here and i really appreciate your time and your support you guys have been awesome and of course it is still a due state election and a lot has been happening and going on in the state and of course oshomole has suffered another internal political bleeding ambush against obaseki backfires uh you know there has been a lot of permutation and uh, manipulations going on in this very election and we hope that uh, that will not be the case at the end of this very election because right now it seems this very one that Oshimole did has backfired against him yes details of this will come to you shortly guys but before then if you haven't subscribed ensure you hit the subscribe button immediately and also give this video a thumbs up don't forget to like this video and don't forget to turn on your notification bell because that is the best Best way you get notified anytime we drop a new video okay without wasting much of your time let us dive right into the details of this report as let to let's see what actually backfired on uh, Oshomole and what he did as the former national chairman of the all progressive congress APC Adams Oshomole may currently be undergoing a bitter wrangle over the battle for the soul of Edo state in the September 19 governorship election there are indicators that the former APC chairman may be suffering seeming internal political bleeding, losing crucial support basis to, in, base to, base to incumbent Governor Godwin Obaseki of Edo State, candidate of the People's Democratic Party PDP, and hypothetically affecting the election fortune of Pastor Osage Ize Iyamu, APC's candidate. The APC candidate and the former chairman encountered an unexpected humiliation from traditional rulers in Ishan land in Edo Central on Monday. Besides some other silent, discontent APC leaders who have been passive in the electionary campaign of Ize Iyamu include two former governors of Edo State, Chief Odige Oyegu and Professor Osumbo. We also gathered and found that the two former governors had earlier declared their support for Governor Godwin Obaseki before his defection from the APC to the PDP. They are still standing by their words and have not been participating in Ize Iyamu's campaign. We also learned that Oshamale suffered a devastating setback when one of his former aides, Andrew Momodu, dumped the APC for the PDP. Momodu did not only decamp from the APC to PDP, he further donated 5 million naira to Obaseki's campaign. It was gathered and also learned that Momodu further promised to deliver 6,000 votes from his polling units within his constituency to Obaseki. Oshamale had earlier laid ambush for Obaseki, poaching the governor's appointees, where which were attributed to the reported resignation of some political appointees from the state government and their defection from the PDP to the All Progressive Congress APC. The pendulum appears to be swinging in the opposite direction now. The former chairman's men are beginning to voluntarily dump the APC for the PDP and supporting incumbent governor Godwin Obaseki. Moreover, it was gathered as the traditional ruler of Anwian Kingdom in East Sako East Local Government Area, Edo North, the Erama Anwian, His Royal Majesty Mufutairu Oare, has promised incumbent Governor Godwin Obaseke the support of the people in his kingdom. The royal father was said to have made a promise when Governor Obaseke visited his palace on Tuesday during the PDP campaign, in the words of the local government. Mr. Godwin, we are assuring you that you are at home. This community road has been a disaster for over a thousand years until your intervention. We were cut off from Edo State until you gave us a good road that integrated us back as members of the state. We cannot forget such a gesture. The royal father was cited to have declared. He affirmed that this time, he affirmed that the time to compensate Obaseki for his good works have come so guys you heard it from uh, from uh, the king and also the uh, royal fathers of uh, the Asian land and uh, you know from Isaac or East local government area and uh, how he has pledged his support for governor Godwin Obaseki 
and you can see that some of the people that were even paid to you know defect to the AL Progressive Congress are voluntarily returning to the People's Democratic Party just because they want to support the incubate governor Godwin Obaseki is someone that has been loved by these people and exactly if you can see they say a uh, uh, governors of the state that is a uh, odige Yegu, a former governor and also osumba also pledged their support for obaseki they said while he was in the apc he was being supported by the same joe but after he left the party for the people's democratic party they decided to also pledge their support for him and uh, you know they said that uh, obaseki has actually shown them shown them the way that of course they really want to support him till the end and as if that was not enough there was also uh, uh, a former apc man andrew momodu who also uh, you know dumped the apc for the pdp he did not only decamp from the apc to pdp he further donated five million naira to obaseki's campaign and uh, it was also learned that momodu further promised to deliver six thousand votes from the polling units within his constituency to obaseki yes this was it and he said so many things uh, just to support and to back up uh, Obaseki and you know all of these are actually hitting hard on uh, uh, Oshomole and the candidates of the uh, All Progressive Congress because really this is the best time that uh, Oshomole expected that some of the party chieftains will actually be strongly behind him and support his candidates but of course some of them are actually living you can remember earlier some of them were bought with money just to support the all progressive congress but hum, somehow people are beginning to wise up and begin to understand that this is much more than just collecting some change and doing what is wrong why don't we do the right thing and support whoever we want to support from our hearts that is why you see people already uh, decamping from one party to another it is all about your conscience and what you think is right. I think whoever think whatever they are doing is right, they should go ahead to do it. Don't be bought with money. Don't allow anyone to buy your conscience with money because at the end of the day, it's really going to affect you, but not just you. It's going to affect your children and even your generations yet unborn. So my dear friends, that is it from here. Uh, whatever you have to say, please endeavor to drop it in the comment section. We'll be waiting to hear from you. We'll be waiting to read from if you haven't subscribed please do ensure you hit the subscribe button because that is the only way yes we'll know that you are here and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up we really appreciate your time here so far do have a pleasant time bye for now